turn victim into victory. Wow. Today, arrogance or arrogant and the perception of it. Well, personally, I've never been a big fan of actually using the word. As, you know, I've always been quite confident and it very rarely comes into my vocabulary unless someone else brings it up. And let's have a look at it and say the perception of someone else being arrogant. Really, it's a form. It's that individual's perception that they've taken on board. It's a judgment of the other person's confidence level and that they may not be quite there yet. And so in a way, it's a very much a victim judgment, which is the thing that the, the, usual, the victim is usually most afraid of and, and most perceiving is that judgment of themselves. But really it's just another perception of their projection. So for instance, I used to judge on the very rare occasion I used to judge someone as arrogant would be in a good example is Michael Schumacher. Let's face it, very cocky, very confident. And at that stage, I wasn't as cocky or as confident. Because not many people are. But then when you start to look at it and go, well, he's incredibly good at what he does. He's got the results on the board. And how, like, he's got the job done on a regular basis. And he's also programming his mind for excellence and the win that winning and that focus and that drive and determination is allowing him to do that on a more regular basis so that's what his universe is like and then perhaps someone like myself and most other people we're judging his universe from within inside our own universe so in a way, it's very much energy vampiring. So, say for instance, he's got a lot of energy and a lot of, you know, fame and power, and so he's got a lot of energy. And then other people who are not so confident are taking energy from him, processing it through their own energy field or their own mind, and saying, no, he's arrogant, I'm a victim. Oh, jeez, I don't even like saying that. So usually the person has got solar plexus or a base uh, feelings of insecurity. Um, digestion always fixes these things and improving that will change one's perception. So is there an instance where you possibly perceive someone as arrogant and we're not quite as confident as them? Because you'll notice that in any instance where this sort of thing comes up, it's it's always the person with the least amount of confidence that calls the other person arrogant and hang on they're calling them they're judging them from within their own perception which is quite often a low kidney function so hopefully we've been able to identify an instance and then stop that from happening so it doesn't happen further in the future because hey wouldn't we all like to be confident yeah, I think so. So how about we just delete or cross out. I'm not going to say the word arrogant anymore. And then how about we just delete it from our vocabulary? How does that sound? All right. Confident? Yeah.